What should we make today? What am I even saying? You know what we're making today. We are making some low carb keto pasta. And this pasta, it is absolutely delicious. It's so quick and easy to make. It takes maybe like 10 minutes to prepare and you only need two or three ingredients to make it. And I say or three because it is optional, but it is kind of the secret to getting this keto pasta to have the same texture and chewiness of that of like a normal pasta or as close to that texture and chewiness as you can get from an easy keto pasta recipe like this one. Also, the best part about this recipe is that it makes a nice sized plate of pasta and the entire thing has just over three net carbs. So I'm sure you're getting hungry. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the good stuff. Make some low carb keto pasta. All right. First things first, we're going to get out a biggie big time bowl and we're going to add one cup or 112 grams of some full fat shredded mozzarella cheese to it. Then when we've added all that cheese, we're gonna add our secret ingredient, which is some xanthan gum. And while this ingredient is totally optional, I found that it does give this keto pasta the right texture and chewiness that you want from your pasta, so I highly recommend adding it. So we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of that into our bowl, and then we can just use the teaspoon to work that into our cheese. Then when we've done that, we're gonna microwave those ingredients together until the cheese melts, and this should really only take a minute to happen. Now, once it melts, I like to get a spatula in there and just mix the cheese really quick into a small ball. Then after I've done that, I'll add the last ingredient for this low carb pasta recipe. That's gonna be a large egg yolk. And by the way, make sure that the cheese is warm, but not hot when you add the yolk to the bowl. The reason I say that is because you don't want the cheese to cook the yolk as you combine them together. And a super helpful tip, is to actually use one of your hands to help you fold the cheese into itself while you're using the spatula in your other hand to facilitate the combining process. Anyway, once our keto pasta dough is uniformly yellow in color, we're gonna get out some parchment paper and sandwich it between two sheets. Then after we've done that, we're gonna roll it out until it's about an eighth of an inch in thickness. And when you roll out your pasta dough, try to keep it in as much of a square shape as possible or at the very least an oval, as this is gonna result in the best looking finished pasta product. Now, once that's rolled out properly, I like to spray a pizza cutter with some baking spray and then form my pasta noodle strands by cutting the dough with it like you're seeing me do here. And if you're wondering why you need to use the spray, it's because the pasta noodles will stick to the cutter if you don't use it. So don't skip out on it, it will make your life way easier. Anyway, now that we've got our keto pasta shaped and formed, we're gonna add it to a baking sheet and we're gonna refrigerate it overnight or at the very least for eight hours. Then after the pasta has been refrigerated, we can separate the strands from one another like this. and We'll have some super bendable and pliable low carb pasta. Now, once we've got all of our keto noodles separated, we're gonna fill up a large pot with some water and we're gonna get that boiling on our burner. Then once we've got a bubble bath going on in the pot, we can add our pasta to it and cook it for just one minute so it ends up perfectly al dente. And since it cooks so quick, I recommend you set a timer on your phone to make sure you don't cook it too long because you don't wanna turn it into melted cheese. Anyway, once a minute is up, we're gonna wash and strain the noodles under some water that's not too hot and not too cold and then we can shake off any of the excess water that might be on them. Then when we've taken care of that, we're gonna get it on a plate, add some sauce to it, maybe a little basil as a garnish, and then we can dig in. And that my friends is how to make some crazy delicious low carb keto pasta noodles with just two or three ingredients. As always, for more info on today's recipe, check out the video description below. There's a ton of good stuff down there along with the full written out recipe and the macros as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this keto pasta recipe. I'll see you in the next one.